It's become very evident that the transgender grooming lobby is losing more and more ground every single year in the 2020s. Because why? Well, once they expose their true agenda of the going after the kids, that's where they show their true colors. See, it wasn't about, about equality as they put it. It was about, we want to get our dirty little fingers on your children. And as a result, you know, uh, over in America at least, there is a backlash that is growing, is ever growing. Because, you know, they can only hide their intentions for so long, the transgender LGBT grooming lobby. You know, and as more and more normal people realize the kind of the real agenda of this whole movement, there's backlash against it, of course, and it gets more and more and more. And there's ground that's being gained to protect children from this ideology, this LGBT homosexual transgender ideology. And, you know, because back in the 1990s, they would come out and be like, oh, we just want, you know, equal rights. Now it's gone to, we want to turn your kids into one of us or else you're basically some kind of hater or bigot or transphobe or whatever else. It's a bunch of garbage. And as a result, you know, normal parents are basically fulfilling their obligation to protect their kids from all this garbage. Because you look at the kind of stuff they're pushing in schools, it's blatantly just like totally age, uh, not age appropriate for these kids. I mean, it's pornographic, it's all kinds of sexually explicit stuff to young preteen boys, which again shows the kind of grooming agenda that has always been the undertone of this whole transgender LGBT grooming type ideology. Plain and simple. Hence why they're called groomers. Like, why do you have to show pornographic imagery and sexually explicit material to preschool boys? To like, when, I mean, when I was in grade five, uh, over a decade ago, it was explicit back then, and it's only it's only like just doubled down more since the decade that has passed. When I did, when I was forced to do sex ed in fifth grade, at eleven years old, being shown naked images. You know, why do you got to show that the kids? But because they're a bunch of perverts, that's why. And this is probably going to make some people upset and get me censored of transphobia and hate speech and all this other stuff. It's just a blunt, brutal reality. You go after the kids, you're going to get some backlash. And the transgender uh, LGBT grooming lobby has is basically facing the, the most amount of backlash it ever has and thought it ever would. In America, at least, and hopefully it'll come to Canada as well. Because, you know, you go after the kids, even people who are for, like, homosexuality they draw the line at the kids and once these perverts start going after the kids well uh the, the uh, garbage hits the fan and the results are not pretty for the transgender grooming lobby so anyway we wanted to point that out may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye